my least in- favorite encounter of the year was with Tasha Adams from the uh, the what? Bachelorette and the Bachelor. Oh my God, brutal! I don't brutal. think I know Not this. Not cool, man. You haven't she told was me this brutal. story. So Tasha Adams, um, I thought it would be very nice. So I'll be very cool. Obviously, she. I had a friend who worked with her when she was doing like promo modeling for a little bit, and said she was super nice. And I was at the airport. For... Now, is this in the like? Was she was her season airing at this moment, or like? Give me the timeline. This of was after this where her after season was. So this is after she's out dating the guy Zach and um she was out dating the guy Zach and I ran into her I was at the airport for someone and she was on the flight with uh Keegan Michael Key and I was there for Keegan Michael Key who is one of the nicest people out there like such a cool dude such a good guy nice good to the fans just a good person and I got Keegan and she and and Keegan was so cool so nice fun cool and he watched me go up to her with the camera and try to talk to her. And she couldn't have been – she could not have been worse. She was absolutely terrible. Her and the guy were absolute assholes to me. Um, I tried talking to them off camera. They were dicks. Um, they were terrible, like not nice, not cool. And um, it's crazy um, how you know nasty what's funny? they were. We've talked about this a lot, though. We've talked about how a lot of reality stars and people that have – gotten famous quickly are not kind or like they think they're bigger than they are if that makes sense well and yeah and and they they don't always treat the paparazzi or fans or anyone nice because it's just like I, i don't know but then you talk to the biggest stars in the world who are the kindest people to photographers or anyone like brad pitt i've never seen a bad interaction with brad pitt or with Angelina Jolie, you know, they, they, there's a certain people that they've just become so big that they're used to it, where reality stars or people that have become famous quickly are just like, oh, I, I, I'm too big for this. I, I, I don't want to be chased down or I don't want to be I don't want to talk to someone or I don't want this fan near me. Like, I don't know. Yeah, she was. Um, it's funny because Keegan Michael Key saw the the incident and he was like, whoa, like he was like, what the hell? And we started talking about it. He was like, dude, that's kind of weird. I was like. Dude, I thought this girl would be loving it, but she couldn't have been any nastier. I tried to, like, shake their hand afterwards, and they were, like, basically, like, get the fuck away. Like, they were so nasty, and Keegan-Michael Key saw go down. He's like, dude, that's such a shame. Like, these are the people that actually kind of should be embracing it and needing it. And then it's funny because then I ran into her maybe a few months later, two months later with Caitlin Bristow. I ran into Tasha and Caitlin Bristow, and Caitlin was super nice. And Tasha was taken back because Caitlin was so nice to me. And Tasha was like was trying to be a little bit nicer, but she was so yeah. confused and weirded out by the situation. But Caitlin was very nice to me, and I appreciated that. But Tasha was so nasty. And then it's funny because, you know, a few weeks later, Tasha is doing setup shots with paparazzi. One thousand, <laughs> two uh, thousand breaths. She's doing setup shots with a photographer. I was like, okay, now you need us, okay? And yeah. uh, she's doing setup shots with paparazzi. And now I can't even get a photographer. If I have a tip on her, I can't even get a photographer to across uh, the street to shoot her. So um, <laughs> shit sucks, Tasha. you know, and uh, yeah, I hope you get nicer. Mm-hmm.